Thanks so much for spending your weekend with us. Did you see former British Prime Minister Tony Blair's Christmas card photo this week? Well, the picture has gone viral with people calling it menacingly odd, fabulously awkward, and even creepy. So, here with tips so your family Christmas card doesn't become the fodder of social media, Matt Sweetwood, president of Unique Photo. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Anna. How are you? We all struggle for that perfect picture, especially when our kids are young and they're crying and not wanting to participate and all that. But we're going to show some good and some bad and the reasons why. First up, we have a bad photograph of a baby and a bear, if we can show that. And what's happening there is we're trying to create a, a Christmas theme right there, but it's overdone. There's too many objects in there. It's, it's even a little bit confusing. It's not a memory, and right? And a picture is really supposed to be about a memory. So we've got a right. good one we can show. That's right. And what you want to do is Aww. you want to keep it simple. So in order to create that Christmas theme, all you required was just the Christmas hat. And then that uses the rule of thirds, which means the background's in a third, bottom third, and then there's two thirds of the background on the top, the baby's in the center, nicely lit. Yeah, that will look perfect the, on anyone's mantle or refrigerator. That's right, and it's sure. simple, and it's very simple. It's a very simple way to do it. All right, next up we have um, a photograph of a woman and her son. Wow, that's a lot of leg there. That's, that's right. one bad one. Let's see another one. And there's the other. Why are these two bad? Well, first of all, feet for memories are not really the way to go. Um, and so, you know, maybe you want to turn around, and when you take that picture, it's hard to tell what she's wearing. So even in the feet picture, you can't, it almost looks like she's naked. In this one, it looks like she's naked. I don't think you want to have that memory. And if you look, their expressions don't really match. Yeah, okay, so, the, wow, this is way better. Why is this good? They're both dressed the same. They have the same expression. Kept it really simple. That's what I always like to say. Keep, the, keep it simple. Don't try to over, overdo it. All right, you know, the neighbors always compete against each other who has the best lights and, and Christmas decorations. Here's a photograph of the bad version, you say? Exactly. So in this photograph, this is something you can take with your smartphone or your camera. You'll be able to get this picture, but you lose a lot of the detail. Mm -hmm. In order to get a really, really good picture, this is one time when you're going to need a camera, right. right? A real camera. And uh, when you see that picture, you can see you can so see. So that's the, the same house. Right. That's exactly the same house. Wow. And you take a camera like this. See, I brought a, I brought a really cute camera because one of the things people yeah. always complain is the cameras are too big, yeah. right? So here's a really really small interchangeable lens camera. It's a Lumix GM5. It's about a $900 camera. It takes interchangeable lenses. And to get that picture with the house, you put it on a tripod and you do a timed exposure. You're going to do a lot better. Right. Uh, You're going to get a much better with a real better camera. Rhythm, with your iPhone camera, even if you have the 6 Plus Monster. That's like right. That's right. These cameras are amazing today. They do really amazing things. And you can do something like a timed exposure with that. Okay. And finally, we have one more. It's a bad family photograph. Everybody seems to be unhappy right. <laughs> with mine here. Well, I always have a rule never photograph yourself holding alcohol because you never know where that picture is going to end up. And this is supposed to be a family photo. Not, they're not happy, they're not dressed right. There's all sorts of yeah. things going wrong. I don't know. Do you want to see this picture, you know, a year from now? Let's I don't see really the good version. Right. Keep it Aww. simple. Keep it simple. Get down to the level of the subject. Simple theme again, and you're able to take a really, really uh, yeah. good picture. And we teach all of this stuff in, in our camera store in New Jersey. As a matter of fact, we're running a big expo at the end of uh, next week on the 12th, 13th, and 14th. 50 free classes. People can come and learn about photography. We have vendors. It's a really, really big event there in New Jersey. Okay, and what about on Christmas morning? Those photographs always end up looking kind of icky because <laughs> we haven't brushed our hair half the time. Some people haven't even brushed their teeth. What, do, what tips do you have for, for the average family? Right. Course? I mean, just think it through. Try to get everybody to look the same because even if you're a little bit off, if you try to just have everybody look like you meant to take the picture, you know, that's really the way to go. You know, you really don't want to tease people with pictures either. People don't really like that because then when you tease them with a picture, they don't want to be in the picture. Mm -hmm. Right? So make sure everybody's happy, I think, is really the uh, really good word. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Matt Thanks Swinwood. for having me. Appreciate it.